hello welcome back again to NX tutorial in this session I want to explain about how to repair a missing surface for example uh, if you get uh, a cat file the IGES file for example is a surface file uh, sometimes uh, the surface is missing so it will not create a solid body I go to the part now okay you see this one maybe I will change the color first to make a make it better to view click OK and then maybe this one light gray will be better now you can see in here there are some missing uh, surface or missing face so you cannot uh, convert this surface part into solid part because the surface is missing we also lost this one in here in here and we are also in here now to make a better view to investigate which surface is missing you can use uh, what is called uh, examine geometry you go to analysis uh, click more and you go to examine geometry ok select object select all examine geometry and just only check this one now you can see there are so many red node in here but actually what we need just only to highlight the missing uh, surface so it means that we have to do a sewing operation go to surface click sew you click this one for example and you click this one click ok you go back again to analysis um, examine geometry here examine highlight result now as you can see I already merged this surface with this surface using so so it will no, no longer uh, showing red edges in here so the next step I should do is to combine all the surface click this one and the rest click the other click OK this become one sheet I will show you sheet body one sheet body ok now we return again to analysis examine geometry check highlight the result now this is the missing surface highlighted in red you see now in order to create a smooth a connection there are several way in NX for example I show you there are fill surface maybe I can choose this one as, as an example hope can be can be filled ah it can be filled but perhaps the shape will be not too good we will check that later using what it called analysis reflection now I go to reflection click this and this and this well as you can see the reflection is quite good but yeah maybe it's a little bit rough but I think it's 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 okay as long as it, it can be close it's okay except if you want to a styling so it can be you know take times the other uh, way except uh, the other way to fill the surface you can use the the name is inside the surface maybe we can pick one as an example for example with this one inside the surface okay and I choose the, the constant face but maybe I will I will just only okay let's see how good the result is still not good in here okay it's no problem okay it's no problem so I want to li little bit make it smooth in inside the surface the way is to click the constant faces in here 
Ah, they are awesome. But sometimes the result is unpredictable. So I will just look again. Okay. So the result I think is not quite good. Let me show you. On oh, the physical inspection, there are some damage in here. You can see, right? There are some damage here. Ah, uh, you can see. So it's not good actually. So it means that I have to using the other way. Delete. Maybe I should return to service. Fuel service. Let's see. Can this tool will be used to to close this? No, it cannot. So it means I have to make the other way. Not fuel surface, not inside the surface. It means I have to use two groove mesh. But in order to make to create two groove mesh, I must create the primary curves and the cross curves. To create that, I must go to curve, bridge curve, start object, and object. See, so the continue to I uh, when I when you select start object and end object, it also will create start tab and end tab. Start tab it means that have correlation with start object and tab have correlation with an object start this one perpendicular click select reverse the direction this is the reverse direction reverse direction and object also reverse direction you can see this one direction but the result is not too good so I should be positioning again. Now an object, start object. Okay. So it should be like this one. So I can go to curvature. Still not good. So I go back to the tangent. Maybe I can just go to template curve. Click the curve this one. So it will create a, almost a similar like that one. Now I position this. Position this. For example, if you if I position to to the percent of the arc length and also I should position to 30% so we will create like this click apply do the same operation again start curve oh, sorry wrong selection start curve and curve make the position maybe about 60 uh, about 50 maybe 50 percent in there this is also 50% so in here template curve still using the same one apply ok I only create two curve this curve act like a bone ok I should reposition again which curve this one maybe not 30 25 and also 25 Okay. The last one. Start curve and curve shape control. This one. Seventy five percent the position. Oh, twenty five. So in here the start also twenty five. Click OK. Now I have three curve act as a bone. I go to surface, go to curve mesh, primary curve. 
so the primary curve is the curve that you will use as a point of extrusion so it almost like an extrusion select this one click add like this one add new set select this one add new set select this one add new set select this one a cross curve is the curve that are crossing the extrusion path so this is like an extrusion from here to here the cross curve you select this please be careful for the L direction again again you see the direction is same and you can create a smooth curve in there click OK there you are you get a good curve here let's check again and analysis reflection okay nice nice curve there okay return again to share it with edges and then now you go to to fill in this one now can we use fill surface let's check no it cannot can we use inside the surface can but the result not good okay it means we have to using again bridge curve start object ah, no, sorry single curve start object ah shit it changed to single curve ah. as you can see it's not good so you move go to connectivity use perpendicular but it's still the same so it means that the problem is in here geo position then also using geo a uh, position <coughs> when you use your position the result will be a linear curve it is no longer wave curve click ok you get one curve this curve first start object second object the position maybe in the middle in here so maybe in 50% the end also 50% click OK okay now let's try the try the to fill in the surface using the curve mesh select the primary curve the primary curve is the the, the direction that you going to extrude the surface for example maybe going from here to here the smooth one okay let me set let me set again let's use it again the more curve you have the the better the result will be cross curve cross curve now you can see in here right is uh, because there are this a connection between this curve and this curve so it means you cannot do that so it means you have to do one by one to curve mesh select by my curve curve select cross curve let me set again select cross curve fill one and you can do uh, the rest also add new set add new set add new set cross curve oh sorry wrong selection should select this one ah you can see okay now you can do this also same 
Now the one interesting in here is the last one. Oh, actually it's not the last one. This is also empty. You can you can uh, fill in this, but it's because there are some kind of geometry here. It means that you have make some kind of a split way. You split here to here, fill in, split here and here, fill in, split here and here, fill in, and so and and then the last uh, action is to fit this with n sided curve. So I go to curve again, which curve, curve the start is tangent, the end also tangent, and shape control, template curve maybe, go to position this one, ah the template curve is not good, so I cannot use template curve. I can use a uh, tangent magnitude perpendicular perpendicular also ah this one position no click apply do the same thing again on the other way curve apply the same thing again for the middle one the position is using 50% so it should be in the middle this also the position in 50% should be in the middle just on the reverse direction yeah. also reverse direction same right 1, 2, 3 go to surface took of mesh Select boundary curve. Head selection. Select boundary curve. Head selection. Select boundary curve. And go to cross curve. This one. Now you can see. Do the same way. With this also. And then you click show and you will get new edges you can get new edges and after you fill all the surface you seal and you can get the solid object okay thank you for watching uh, see you next time